me again. Um, I'm just doing this uh, video to start a diary on my face routine. Well, skincare routine really. So I want to say as a beginner, well I'm not really a beginner because I've been doing this for a while, uh, on my face. So I want to see if, um, well I try a lot of new different things but I never like record what the results are. I never actually have a think of what worked and what didn't work and why. So. I'm hoping that uh, by starting this one, then I can start that uh, let's say journey together with like um, the one I'm doing for my hair. So this is complementing the first video I did about my hair. So to start with, I do my face twice a day, every day. So um. I'll start with my nightly routine. Well, at night I use this. Too close. This Garnier. Let me take the light away. There you go. So I'm still new at this, so yeah, that's it. Two in one makeup remover. As you can see, it's almost gone. There's two liquids there, two in one. I'm not sure what the different liquids do. Um, makeup removing liquid, that's the blue liquid. And a cleansing water liquid, which is the other one. So that's a cleanser and that's a makeup remover. Well, the blue is a makeup remover, the clear one is a cleanser. So I use this. On a cotton bud, no, cotton ball. I had one here. Anyway, I use that on my on a cotton ball and do that all around and loosen the makeup. And then once that's come out, I follow up with this simple moisturizing facial wash. I've used this for years because my mom loves it, so we always have it at home. Love it. Once I've done that, rinse my face out with warm water and then quickly followed by a toner which I, I usually make for myself. Uh, I mix witch hazel. You can see I got it. It's the Boots brand. It was £2.99. £2 I use that together with rose water but this time I couldn't find rose water on its own so I, I bought this again it's from Boots you can see yeah that's the way Boots and it's rose water and glycerine and I mix them too that and that mix them together and this is what it is, that clear liquid. I have to say that I'm not a big fan of the glycerin in in the rose water because it makes my skin feel sticky, like gluey. I can even feel it now. So I, I'm not a big fan of glycerin. Not at all, so... Next time I'll definitely make sure I find the rose water to mix with the witch hazel, which I really like. And then, once I've done the toner, I use this for my night, night cream. It's a Clinique Super X Rescue Antioxidant Night Moisturizer. And it's a dry combination skin. Well, I have dry skin all over my face except my nose just around here um like around there it's like around here something's gone on I have so well I got this as a Christmas present 
So I'm not sure it's right for my skin. I find it sometimes, I think it's a bit oily for my skin, especially my forehead where I break out a lot. So I, I try and use it on the dry part of the, of the face. Um, that's what I do at night. In the mornings, in the mornings, I don't use makeup remover. In the morning, in the morning, I just wash my face again with simple facial wash. Well, before I had the simple facial wash, I had the Garnier version of the facial wash, and um, so I like this one, and I've used it for years. But sometimes it just depends on what what's on sale and stuff. So uh, as long as it doesn't have like bad ingredients in it. So use facial wash in the morning, toner again, my witch hazel and rose water, and then I use my day cream which is the clinic super defense dry combination skin SPF twenty five. God I'm rubbish at this. And I like this. It doesn't smell that great, to be honest, but it works. It does make my face a bit shiny, so I may look for a different one once this is finished, because I got them as a Christmas present, so I'm definitely going to use them, because I think they're good, good products. Maybe not properly much for me, so... Yeah, and um, uh, the must have product for my face is that aloe vera jelly. This I use on my face, especially on my wash day when I'm going to be doing stuff on my hair. I put it all around my face as like a film to protect my skin from the hair product. So I like this and then when I'm all finished I rinse it out. It has glycerine, water, aloe vera gel, which is babadensis or something like that. It has tocopherol, which is vitamin E, the natural one. So and it has yeah. So it says that it will moisturize, soothe and condition skin. So I like it very much and I put it sometimes on my dry spots I get on my cheeks. I think it's really good moisturizer so I always carry this around. On a weekly basis I use this Planet Spa. Olive oil hydrating face mask. This is quite good, especially on a weekend when I'm not doing much. I like to put this on my face and leave it on there and then rinse it out. And then I'll do the whole routine of um, toning. I like it very much. It leaves the skin feeling refreshed. Soft and supple. It's really good for when your skin is feeling really dehydrated or when you've had a really warm um, bath or a hot shower and your skin has just been rubbed off moisture by the hot water. This is really good. Um, Yeah, that's what I do. Morning and night, clean my face. I do makeup when I'm going out somewhere, like for meetings or for lectures, I, I'll do makeup, but if I'm not going anywhere special, I don't do makeup. And by makeup, I mean foundation, I put a bit of concealer around there, and for defining my eyebrows. And the foundation, really, I use it lightly just to even my skin tip. Then I put mascara, and 
lip balm and that's it I don't use a great deal of makeup but when I do I make sure I use my I wash my face before I sleep uh, I don't always wash my face before I sleep I have to admit sometimes especially if I've been I've been out I just collapse on the bed but when I do that I make sure I use this the next day the mask so yeah that's me that's my face I'll update you if I try anything new or if anything changes and if you have any suggestions about maybe a combination skin dry and oily sorry dry oily yeah let me know and yeah we can learn together as I said this is just a record of what I'm doing so that I can refer to it and change a few things and learn about my skin and yeah anyway if you have any comments please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think and I'll see you soon bye